Are some properties so destroyed they can only be sold off market by a wholesaler? Today, I'm going to show you the four worst properties I have ever sold. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Ask James Wise Show here on Holton Wise TV. Of course, I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes is my guy, Tommy, cutting up the footage for us. Now, folks, a lot of folks out there, they ask me this question. They want to know if their property is too beat up to sell on the open market, sell on the MLS. They want to know if their only option is to hire a wholesaler. Should you hire a wholesaler? My opinion, no, you should never hire a wholesaler. And I'm going to prove that to you today by showing you the four worst properties I have ever sold. What you're looking at here is the first of four properties I want to show you in no particular order. This is a single family home that was set on fire by the tenant. Uh, they, if I memory serves me correctly, I believe they, uh, they left something plugged in. I believe it was like a, a hair flattening iron type deal. I believe they left that on. Uh, overnight and it ended up catching the landlord's home on fire now a lot of folks in this situation they think oh my only option is to hire a wholesaler that is not the case guys you see wholesalers they want to be investor focused agents like i am when they grow up whether or not they believe it themselves wholesalers want to sell these distressed properties because they can directly market them to investors themselves. Well, investor-focused agents have the ability to do that as well. As you know, I sold all of these properties on Holton Wise TV. In addition, though, investor-focused agents, we have additional tools such as the MLS and a network of thousands of other agents who also have a network of investors. Because of that, I was able to maximize the sales price for this seller and get him 10000 Moving on to the next property. This is a six-unit apartment building that I sold in the hood of Cleveland. This is one of the worst neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland, in the Cleveland metro area. As a matter of fact, this is actually probably one of the worst neighborhoods in the entire United States of America. Now, I actually sold this, but it never closed. You see, what had happened was I listed this bad boy for 14900 in addition there was $15,000 in back taxes that the seller didn't have any money to pay for. So we promoted this to our investor base. Uh, you were able to come in cash. You could buy the purchase price cash, and then you could assume some of those taxes. So you're able to get in with a little bit less money up front. So what happened is we ended up selling this to a cash buyer. He ended up putting it under contract for $7,000 with the notion that he would assume the other $15,000 in back taxes, which was cool for him. You know, it was a nice creative move because instead of him having to put up, uh, what is that, $22,000, $23,000 cash, he only had to put up $7,000 and he could pay back the back taxes over time. The issue, though, is the deal was totally halted by the seller because when the title search came back, it turned out the seller actually had even more liens on it. He didn't disclose to anybody, and he thought that nobody was going to notice. That's another reason you want to hire an agent and not somebody like a wholesaler because we are familiar with the title process, and we use legitimate title companies, and we make sure our buyers are getting general warranty deeds, not just buying property on quit claim deeds where a title search and a title insurance policy is never issued. What are the positives about this building, John? It's quiet. <laughs> you have lots of uh, room for activities. <laughs> uh, bird's nest. Come on, we're talking about a six unit apartment building that sold for $7,000. When you're dealing with this incredibly distressed real estate, a lot of times you're dealing with some shysty folks and there's a lot of rough stuff going on so it's very good that you have an agent who is able to navigate through this moving on to another destroyed property that i have sold this this was a house in lorraine 
I uh, sold this property to a cash buyer for $13,000. Once you get this bad boy fixed up, you know, it's renting for over a grand. But this property, as you can see from the footage, is just completely freaking destroyed. The particular story here, out-of-state investor tried managing on his own. He was not good at it at all. Just gonna keep it going. Don't know if I'll actually go all the way in the basement because you know I don't want to die. That basement looks actually cleaner than any of this. Big ass spider. Go up the stairs. We go. Just cakes and shit. That's all that yummies. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really want to know what it takes to I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. He evicted his tenants. He allowed the property to sit vacant. Just got destroyed. Squatters moved in. As you can see, it's freaking nasty. Look at this bed. There's just shit all over the place. One of the most disgusting properties I have ever seen. You get a lot of folks who look at this and they think, Oh no, we're never going to be able to sell it. It's too bad to sell. That is not the case, folks. There is no property that is unsellable. Every single property is sellable if you price it right, if you market it right. That's why it doesn't necessarily make sense to hire a wholesaler because their network is so much smaller. Their toolbox has fewer tools than that of an investor-focused agent, which will, of course, lead you to getting less money. And last but not least, I said this list was in no particular order, but honestly, this is probably the most destroyed, the most messed up house I have ever sold because I managed to sell this thing with a swimming pool in the basement. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals U.S. Reap has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reap is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. As a matter of fact, we actually made two videos out of this particular property. We did um, one video which was on the investment properties for sale show, which by the way, I have linked to the videos for every one of these properties that I have sold in the show notes below. So definitely check that out. If you want to see how I actually sold all of these properties, I'm showing you how just distressed and beat up and nasty they are. You got to be thinking like, dude, how did this dude sell these? So you don't have to question it or you don't have to ask, guys. I've got that info for you below. But this one, in addition to that video, we also made a Tenants from Hell video about this because what had happened here, tenants just destroyed the property, got evicted, everything was trashed piping was stolen out of the basement water gushed in the entire basement was full almost to the ceiling of water and our team had to go in and pump it out with all of that said with all of that disclosed i didn't hide anything that's something we do as investor focused agents we need to make sure we are adhering to all the state required disclosures something wholesalers do not do because they are technically running in illegal brokerage business they are running outside of the law so they aren't worried about things like state required disclosures because if they were they wouldn't be running an unlicensed brokerage business in the first place with all of that said though everything above board i was still able to sell that particular property for twenty four thousand five hundred dollars to a cash buyer the cat up in here too what's up kitty meow meow you want to see it Oh, 
Hi, big guy. If you can see him back there, he's all the way back there. That's a big cat eating some big Cleveland rats. Oh, yeah. So, as you can see from those properties, there is no property that is too beat up to sell if it is sold in the proper way. You see, myself, I focus on selling properties to investors. So, all of these properties totally destroyed, completely unlivable, but I sell to investors. Investors are aware that you need to buy problem properties. You need to buy someone else's issue because you can then go in and fix all those horrible issues. You can pick things up at a discount, get them cheaper, fix those problems, and that's how investors make money. So don't think that just because you have a problem property, you cannot hire a top-level professional to sell that. You don't need to work with any slimy or sleazy unlicensed brokers you can get the best marketing exposure if you go through an investor focused agent that's all i've got for you folks today if you have any other questions about wholesaling rental properties anything if you've got a really destroyed property and you want my opinion on what you should do with it go ahead and post those comments in the show notes below as i said earlier guys this is your show this show is all about you asking questions, and I will do my very best to provide you those answers. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Property management is a lot more than just placing tenants and collecting rent. Who you work with can be as or even more important than the properties themselves. With over 60 years of cumulative experience, the principles of Evergrow Property Management have one of the most tried and tested property management businesses in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Armed with the latest technology and a full range of property management services, including property evaluations, tenant screening, rent collection, maintenance, legal compliance, and eviction services. Evergrow Property Management is the top property management choice of rental property owners, turnkey providers, and real estate agents in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Visit evergrowpm.com for more information. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.